hi welcome to interested medical and uh, today's video we are going to show you how to connect two five liter machine in order to take the desired output so the first question that may come to you when doctor prescribes you any value more than five whether it is to go for a single 10 liter equipment or connect two five liter equipments so the answer is very simple Generally, if you go for a single 10 liter equipment, the weight of the machine will be between 35 to 40 kgs. So it will not be a portable machine, it will be a stationary oxygen concentrator. Second disadvantage going for a single standalone 10 LPM is that you will not have any additional features. That it, is not, it will not come with a built in nebulizer also. And thirdly, the power consumption will be very high. Say for example, these equipments, each 5 liter will consume 350 to 400 watts depending upon the model whereas a single 10 alone 10 liter equipment will consume more than 550 to 600 watts so irrespective whether you are going to keep the flow rate at 2 or 3 in the future also the 10 liter will still consume heavy wattage and another main disadvantage the 5 liter equipments can run on an inverter 1.5 kV inverter these machines can run whereas if you go for a 10 liter equipment the inverter capacity will be very high and really out of the budget so it is always better to go for two 5 liter equipments when you are purchasing for the domestic purpose. Hospitals will obviously go for the standalone 10 liter. So because the usage there will be completely different. Now let us see how we are going to connect two 5 liter equipments. So for the demonstration we have uh, two OxyCare digital models from Interested. And uh, you can see the flow rate here is 4.4. Say for example now le let us just increase this and make it 5 just give some time for the digital version to increase similarly in this concentrator also we will keep it to 5 say for example if you are going to keep 8 or 7 then adjust the flow rates accordingly you can keep both these machines at 4 or 1 at 5 and the other at 3 so now I am going to take the output at 10 so I would like to keep both the machines at 5 ok yeah, so already this machine is at the desired flow rate. Here also it is at the desired flow rate. Okay, now, so you know already if you have seen the previous videos, this is where the oxygen output is going to come. So, now, this Y connector setup, we actually call it the Y connector setup. These will be available at all the interested stores. And if you have already purchased our 5 liter equipment and you are purchasing another 5, if the flow rate has been increased for the patient, you can request us and our technicians and our biomedical engineers will give this to you. And uh, this is how it will look. So this is that uh, Y connector piece. And basically what we are doing is that we are, we are going to attach two outputs to this Y interface. And finally from this interface we are going to attach the cannula. So there is not going to be any leaks and uh, now let us show how to connect. Okay. So this end we are going to take and connect it to one machine. Okay. It is done. Now the other end of the Y. Let us take and uh, connect it to this machine. So now at the other end or the lower end we have connected the cannula and finally the 10 LPM flow is will come through this pipe. So it's very simple actually many people in the past have also questioned me sir is there going to be any loss when you do the setup. Obviously there is not going to be any loss. Both the oxygen machines are going to give you the output at reduced pressure around 0.04 millipascals only. And we have straight away connected two tubes and it's getting uh, bundled up at this Y. And finally we have attached the cannula and we are going to connect it to the patient. Either you can attach the cannula or uh, if you have an oxygen mask also, you can connect it at the other end and take the final output. So similarly, whenever you want to reduce the flow also, you reduce it. Say for example, if you want to keep it at 7 or something, reduce 1 to 3 and make the other at 4. That's it. So you are going to get 7. This will be like very much advantageous for you in the long run. So once the patient condition stabilizes, 
you will be able to resell own equipment and another main advantage is that these both the equipments are fully transportable and these are portable and these can get hooked up to an inverter so lots of advantages are there for you as a customer when you take two 5 lpm machines together so uh, in case for hospital setup if they want to go for 10 also you can visit our website there are stand alone 10 lpm machines also readily available in all our centers and uh, for those of who ask like okay uh, why don't we check it with an industrial analyzer so what you're seeing right here is a flow meter and now you see as you, the same setup two 5 liter equipments and the flow has been connected here you can see the output at 10 so very well there won't be any loss of flows or anything so whatever flow you want if you're going to keep the two machines at 5 you're still going to get the output at 10 so this is highly beneficial for the residential purpose